Welcome to Culture Wire. I'm your host, Meg Schiffler. On this episode, we're going to take a behind the scenes look at the city's latest and greatest public art project, sited at San Francisco International Airport. Recently, the airport unveiled its new state of the art Terminal 2. Come on, let's take a look. The new terminal, servicing American Airlines and Virgin America, was designed by Gensler, a world-renowned architecture firm. Originally built in 1954, the building underwent a massive renovation to become the nation's first LEED Gold registered terminal, and one of the most modern and sustainable terminals in the United States. With the remodel of Terminal 2, the public art program continues its 30-year legacy of integrating art into the airport environment with the addition of five new commissions that are as bold and dynamic as the new building. This is a project that is, was completed in record time, and yet we were able to integrate the artists early enough in the process that they could work with the architects so that the work that is completed is work that really helps to complement and, and fill the space as opposed to being sort of tucked away in, in some little corner. The experience begins with the terminal's glass facade, which was designed by Nori Sato. Created with over 120 laminated glass panels, air over under captures the dual experience of being under or over clouds when flying in a plane. Depending on the viewer's distance or point of view, the facade can appear clear or more abstract and atmospheric and its subtle colors change gradually, depending on the light and the time of day. So I wanted to create an artwork that kind of works over time, as well as working on the kind of first glance. The first time you come here, you may not see it, um, but the second time you come here, you may be able to see one side versus the other. The departure lobby features Topograph, two suspended sculptures by artist Kendall Buster, each sculpture was created out of a series of flat planes hung parallel to each other and constructed of steel tubing covered in white shade cloth. It's made up of these, of these strata, in a sense, and as one moves around them or as the light starts to shift, there's a real sense that there's, there's a, um, a, uh, a, a dynamism, I hope, I hope with the forms. The forms suggest a topographic map and give the illusion that the two sculptures might be fragments of a larger, mysterious mass. Janet Eckelman's environmental artwork, Every Beating Second, enlivens the post-security area with color, light, and movement. Three large woven fiber sculptures are suspended from the interior skylights. These lace-like forms are activated by a custom airflow program and colored lighting. I've channeled airflow in each of these sculptural forms that makes it move ever so slightly, beating almost like a heart. This is all about heightening your awareness of your relationship to all the forces of nature moving around us at every moment, every beating second. Shadow patterns in the terrazzo floor reflect the shapes of the hanging sculptures, like silhouettes cast by overhead clouds. The new terminal also features two children's play areas, Walter Katundu and Charles Sowers, both of whom work at the Exploratorium, were selected to create installations for these areas. Walter Katundu's group of interactive artworks were designed to offer travelers of all ages a playful oasis. Using high quality veneer plywood, Katundu created two benches shaped like bird wings that double as musical instruments. Serving as a backdrop for these musical benches is a mural featuring images of local birds and San Francisco's famous skyline. It's such a great town because the, the line between urban and natural is so permeable and you can, you can see birds in the city and you, and you can go 15 minutes out of the city and be in complete wilderness. And um, I really like that about this and I'm hoping that people who are arriving here in this terminal and maybe get a little snapshot of, of what they might expect and what's beautiful about the area. 
Charles Sower's Butterfly Wall is an interactive kinetic sculpture that is activated by the viewer. There's some physics going on in the things. They're actually always falling. Um, they're on a belt and they fall down the belt. And when you crank the crank, it moves the belt up. And if you crank it faster than the butterflies fall, then they move upwards. The Art of Terminal 2 reflects the Art Commission's commitment to acquiring the best work from the Bay Area and beyond. In addition to the five new commissions, 20 artworks that were already in the airport's collection were reinstalled, some of which were historically cited in the terminal. The reinstalled works include major sculptures by acclaimed international artists Arnaldo Pomodoro and Seiji Kunishima. As a collection, these artworks tell the story of San Francisco's vibrant art scene in the early 1960s through the mid-1980s and illustrate San Francisco's importance as a cultural center and a place of innovation that is recognized and beloved throughout the world. One of the highlights of the public art collection at T2 is a series of three lush tapestries by Mark Adams that are on view after being in storage for 20 years. These tapestries represent various gardens that the artist remembers from his years living in San Francisco. Irises, hydrangeas, chrysanthemums, and wild dahlias, rendered in rich, deep shades, now greet passengers as they make their way toward the baggage claim area. Travelers can enhance their experience of the public art at T2 by accessing behind-the-scenes information and interviews with the artists via a Guide by Cell audio tour. Produced by Earprint Productions, the tour features archival audio as well as interviews with living artists, curators, family members, and even a veteran pilot. The tour can be accessed on-site by dialing a local telephone number located near the artwork or by visiting the Arts Commission's website. The public art at SFO speaks volumes about San Francisco as a world-class city with world-class art and culture. For more information, visit sfartscommission.org slash pub art collection. Thanks for watching Culture Wire.